Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. And insane it certainly is. We are very much continuing the veteran mode. Today it's Raging Tide. It's time, oh, it's going to be the main mission of uh, the side missions. Main mission in a sense that all of the other missions are limited to one unit. And this here is a full team mission. And what a better option to just bring our uh, new full formation that I talked about in the last episode. We're bringing Rhea uh, with a bit of a modified build. Michaela is just turned seven and uh, would, uh, would be a fantastic uh, sniper addition. Uh, we will use her new passive uh, bonuses to even make her hit harder. Uh, Tank Ellison still in the heavily over fo uh, Overwatch focused build and Gabe has <clears throat> that nice build uh, with uh, Surge and uh, the the full empower, uh, empowerment. So I like all of the builds. Reyes is a bit new. I just want to remind uh, those of you who haven't seen it. We took a few points away from Quick Swap and that Stalker Free Cloak uh, thing and instead went all the way to um, uh, to escape artist, uh, which now allows us uh, with a critical hit or an execution to immediately regain uh, our stealth. So with the extended cloak and the ability to throw um, uh, to throw uh, the uh, proximity mine and plant uh, normal mines whilst being hidden, and that ability on top of it, <clears throat> I could see that we maybe even stay invisible for the uh, for the entirety of the fight, depending on how it turns out. This is not going to be an easy mission. I'm scratching the op uh, optional op modifier here, um, or the optional objective without deploying without a heavy because I don't really need another epic uh, um, uh, epic uh, weapon modification. Instead, we're going for that supreme modification, and I want to mainly we see how well that group is performing. We need fresh supplies. Dig in near the crate and load up the cargo we need. Okay, here we go. Have a nice little defense mission. Ooh, is it the first one that we originally played? That would be so awesome, the one with the bridge. Oh yeah, it looks like it. All units, move into position Fantastic. I was always a bit envious and wanted to replay that mission. Time to get to work. But with better gear, of course. Now that is going to be fun. Uh, Scout is going to take one side, uh, Jack's going to take the other side, we're going to position him here, make him invisible and let him just share his auras. Oh yeah, I do have a concrete plan in mind. Very much so. Uh, we don't need to hurry at the beginning, uh, we're fine. Scout begins to charge. And let's just move down here. Check on the other side. Moves over here. Okay, now. Diaz with his light build and fast movement can move all the way up there, and the rest of the team takes the bridge. That tactic has worked very well the first time. Now we got better equipment, definitely better activity. positions. Okay, a few snipers. Ah, they could be nasty. Showtime, people! I'm wondering if we may put Diaz down here because he can still be highly effective even even if he's uh, just standing there. All easy. Got it. Ready. Good. Let's. Uh -huh. I think I made my decision. We're moving up there. Right here. Jack moves down here. Mm. 
and here we go. The scout also moves up. We got a ticker here. That's fine. We no, do no longer have free cloak, so I'm going to take a cloak this time. And Diaz is effectively going to go down here. Next turn onwards, we're going to take possession of both of the sides. Here they come. And then it's on, baby. Okay. Hmm. On my way. Moving to here. Eh, I don't want to let that explode yet. Heavy on standby. Heavy positions over here. Let's go. We could kick. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny. You know what? Why not? Get out of here! Nicely kicking it in. It would have been even more fun no. if uh, that would have triggered the Overwatch. Then he shoots his own now. friend and effectively kills him. Okay, Diaz moves into position. That's good. Jack moves up all the way to here. And we're going to take Sniper Aura. Appreciate it, Jack. Good. Couple of things. Number one. Done. Number two. 80% chance to hit. And a good chance of four crit. Done. Still got plenty of turns. More for us. Ready. Let's move over here. We can overwatch and make sure that the uh, that the grenadier downstairs will have a really bad Bring time. I'm ready. That's three overwatch shots right there. Proximity mine, just to make sure here comes the frag. that we're well prepared. And let's just plant a grenade. We're going to plant a couple of grenades. Okay, next turn uh, we will lose our invisibility, but that's okay. No need to finish him. Moving back into cover here is okay. I'll stop him. And this should give us a really nice Overwatch feature. Very soon more drops are going to come in. But I feel we're ready for that. The Grenadier really just moved back. He's like, no, fuck this. I'm not going to just charge in. Okay. Checkpoint reached. We have ready. No, we don't have empower, which by the way is a bit of a problem. So support aura. 
needs to get up one, for cooldown reduction. Greedy. Very nice. Okay. Charging over here. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Utility belt gives an extra AP. It's that is that is wicked. Okay, and this would be a kill, critical hit, and we are getting the hidden status. No, we're not getting it. That's unfortunate. But what we could do is we could finish him, and that should give us the hidden status because it's an execution, right? There we go. Didn't even stand a chance. Okay, gotta be careful if we're killing these guys and they're not falling. Uh, that is a bit of an oversight. Okay, more wretches are Heavy coming in. in. You know what we could do is simply overwash here. Scanning now. I think it's a perfect time to give that Overwatch aura. Yes. And just for the sake of it, how about we have that defense aura, forty percent less damage. Together with his Overwatch, we should be fine. We're making ourselves invisible. Stay out of trouble, Jack. I'm reloading. Reload for more damage. Sure thing. Okay, now. Advancing. Good. Putting ourselves in position here. And look, we have, have disrupt uh, with uh, Diaz, so he should be more than capable of holding a couple of these guys back. Yep, there is the disrupt. Problem is, he is now using all of his overwatch shots just on that runner. These guys need to die, and they need to die fast. The aura here, that's what's making them so sturdy. Okay, got some more supplies, great. Starting with our scout. Realizing that without sprint, uh, we potentially cannot get over there. Ideas? Back to the sniper. Chances are too low to hit these guys, so it's back to the scout, really. And what I would want to do is handing over actions. Time to up your game. All right. And then she has a lot of things on cooldown. Time to go the So we're mile. changing that with search. And because I would assume that she's going to kill a few. Little boost for you. We're putting teamwork in place. There in a sec. Charging over here. One. Oh, 
Getting right into the fray, too. We got a three for one here. Should not discount that. Come on, where's that three for one? I know he, uh, it exists. That's a two for one. Still a two for one. They have not learned out of uh, the XCOM grenade problem. But we're still, we're going to do that. Stealthing and moving over to here. Plant a few no new grenades there. Good. With regards to our other options, I'm not your target. oh boy, shouldn't, yeah, should have been a bit more careful. Never mind. I will pause an overwatch here, and that's about it. Standing by. Good. Eighty percent. Uh, that is great. I like it. We don't need damage this turn. We effectively just need to hit these guys. Damn. Thank Keep you for our hair trigger. This Ready will attack. force them to stay where they are. And I will just continue the overwatch because a three for one overwatch? Hell yeah, we're going to do that. Good, let's get some extra actions. That's one kill. And I will take a couple of chances. We're going to get 20% each time we're missing him. Two. Three. Alright, we're going to try it. Good. Didn't really work out. Uh, that is okay. We're down to zero ammunition. And in those cases, what helps is the good old range reload. Jack does little jack things and goes back in. So far, so good. We've got half the supplies we need. Oh yeah, and we gotta there, go for the crates soon as well. Time, everyone. Yeah, that's a good point for me to uh, do a little break. Uh, I need to attend another meeting and uh, see you in a second. Okay, and we are back. For you, no time has, has passed. For me, a bit of time has passed, but that should not deter us from killing those two guys right away. 
So we got a problem here with a thrasher, um, uh, that zealoth rather, who indeed is going to be an issue for us. However, with the right treatment, we could push him a bit in our direction. Here goes. That makes us visible again. Yep. But thankfully it also brings him nicely into line of sight here. 50% crit chance. Just out of curiosity. No, we don't have the crit aura back. Might as well just take a shot. That's not it, Saiken. That is not it. Still not it. Let's do the ultimate shot. To regain our actions. And of course that one misses. Hilarious. Get after it now. Okay, we're trying that ultimate shot again. It grubs. Oh boy, now I took the the wrong target. Okay. Finally, after a long and painful process, she dies. Or he. I don't know what uh, gender this guy is. Good. Moving closer. Nice little finisher. Let's crit him. How's this not killing him? The problem is if he's just down, we're not going to become invisible. But with that, we actually became invisible. Good, we still need this epic case over here. Reloaded. And we're going to take that next turn. For now. Low percent chances of hitting these guys. Shit. But that shouldn't deter us from just trying. There we go. That's a, ki uh, that's a kill. And we got one more shot ready. Almost out. Okay. We are overwatching because that means we're automatically reloading for free. It's just too good to not do that. I uh, should have made myself invisible. That was not clever. Eh. Let's hope that the Zealot is not going to unload on Jack. That was a bit of a mistake. But we can protect Jack. Yep. Sort of. Okay. We got everybody on the left flank. There's still a bit to do on the right flank. Brace yourself. Sorry. Well, nice. We interrupted our own uh, Overwatch. That was fantastic, Saiken. Wonderful play. I when I Overwatch, I was like, yeah, that's. That's not looking great. And then it really happened. Luckily for us, he will regain that health relatively fast. So a couple of things here, starting with a 
solid hit. That was good. Yeah, we're not going to take an explosive shot. I just want to continue hitting him, really. Hell of a kill, that was soldier. a done deal. He's Danny. regenerating, and since there's no one left, might as well use Stim Aura. Doing good, Jack. Good. We're placing a grenade down here. It's great to see that uh, the extended invisibility works very well together uh, with uh, that invisibility feature that we have gotten. Reporting in. Talking. Can we hit any of these guys? No, we can't. Reloading, Reloading uh, to get that 25% damage that bonus happen. and Epiphany kicks in, um, so all of those cooldowns slowly but surely are going to be reduced. Sure thing. What we are going to do is, I would like to take a um, on foot. secure position over here. We are going to Setting overwatch. And by the way, do we still have... No, proximity minus on cooldown. So we're moving towards that epic case, knowing farewell that there is another deviant rat, a wretch over here. We can kill him with one grenade next turn. Nice. Great interruption. So the cool part is the heavy is almost back to full hit points after taking such a colossal hit. Second cool part is if we're heating up. That's a one shot. Or one Fire throw no. kill. <laughs> okay. Nice one. Love it. I love um, when the team is is fully stacked. The high level builds are fun in this game, potentially because I I am having that feeling of grandiosity or power at this point. The assist, Jack. Good. Triple assist. Out of curiosity. Yep, that's a good throw. One AP, uh, just for free. Love it. This, that new utility belt is great. It is fantastic. That allows us to place another mine over here. Heading there now. Alright, 70%, that already counts as high ground. I'll take it. Now then. There All you right. go. Let's do this. Let's also use teamwork, because why not? And here we go. First shot. Shit A miss. Scrub. Luckily we have a second chance. Nice critical hit. Oh, that was good. Let's get a free reload. Who the hell am I almost out? Who's next? 
continuing to take the next guy down. And we're getting a lot of teamwork bonus. Damn. Shot wide. Plus accuracy bonus, 70%. Like it. Let's go. Couple of kills for Diaz, you know. Okay, I'm good. Hmm. I think we're pretty much done here. On the lookout. Yeah, and unless something super weird is going to happen, we should be done. This team is incredibly strong. Super, super strong. At no point was the mission really in danger. And just the amount of uh, damage that every single one of them can um, dish out. The scout is a nice mix-up from our vanguard. Ooh, 80 damage. It's a nice mix-up uh, from our vanguard because it allows us to um, to break into heavy defense lines such as uh, multiple snipers that are in the back line. And that new um, build where I can resell is quite helpful because you can kill something again and then you continue to uh, to effectively be stealth the entire time. And the one thing that I learned on Insane Difficulty is the scout just does not want to be seen unless you have already killed most of the enemies. So that was good. I like that new build. Free Cloak would make it even a bit better, more, uh, more potent, but we're going to get that with the next level. Quincy's good, Michaela's good, Gabe is good. Everybody did well. And that brings us to the epic cases. Potentially nothing ground shattering there. But we're going to equip all of uh, them when we're uh, when we're back. The one thing that I still wanted to know is what is this thing doing? Okay, Reaper. This unit heals 50% of its uh, of damage dealt by its overwatch shots. <laughs> The Supreme mods are mad, guys. Um, so he reloads for free when we're overwatching. He gets three actions for the price of one when we're overwatching. He now has, based on the legendary uh, talents, 60% uh, damage reduction when we're overwatching. And he heals 50% of the damage that he deals with overwatch shots on top of that. Oh my gosh, that is... That is a strong, very strong uh, Supreme Loot. I can see why they are calling it Supreme Loot. It's completely bongus, but it's fun. It's almost like the chosen weapons, uh, but you get more of them. Okay, optional objectives. We're going to go through that the next time. For now, it's the end of today's um, episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a like and maybe a comment down below. That would make me happy. And we're seeing each other in the next episode. Bye-bye.